Our opener, brain tumours now claim more young lives than any other form of cancer. The tumour rate has increased by a staggering 21% in just a decade. One of our leading surgeons is worried about a link with the growing use of mobile phones and other electrical equipment. For, for months afterwards I thought I could never be afraid of death anymore mm. because my seven-year-old daughter has faced it so bravely and with such dignity. She was the most delightful, charming child. Um, she just had a spark and she was fun and gentle and she was a joy. Kessie McConnell was only seven when the family doctor thought she had a fever. Kessie was dead within weeks from a brain tumour. We had to watch Kessie lose the ability to talk, to walk, to move, um, you know, one by one, her, you know, her, her, her left hand would be paralysed. The next day she'd wake up and she wouldn't be able to move her, her leg. Um, the type of tumour that Kessie had in her brain stem um, was, you know, the worst possible place you could have a brain tumour. Ependymomas in particular seem to be increasing in incidence in children. Charlie Teo is a preeminent neurosurgeon. He specialises in children's brains. And Charlie is at the cutting edge, literally, of a 21% increase in children's brain tumours. I think that EMR, mobile phones and other electrical appliances may have something to do with the increased incidence that we're seeing. What advice do you give your children? Oh, Ray, this is a very sore point. My, my daughter just got a mobile phone and, uh, and I was so against it. Uh, it was a real sore point in the family. How old is she, Charlie? She's 12. So she's in that vulnerable age? Oh, very vulnerable. Her brain is still developing and I'm really very upset that she's got one. So mobile telephones or telephones or telephone wires or Absolutely. computers? Absolutely. I mean... You're exposed to EMR, electromagnetic radiation, that you don't even, you're not even aware of. The wires in the walls of your home emit EMR of a certain frequency that could be dangerous. The electrical appliances, not only computers, but all electrical appliances like uh, electric blankets and uh, bedside clocks, uh, certainly mobile phones and certainly any high tensile electrical wires. And your belief is that the children are more susceptible? Yeah, that's my personal belief, that there may be an association between EMR exposure and uh, the development of brain cancer. Dr Charlie Teo and the other scientists are not saying that mobile phones or electric wires or TV towers will kill you. They're not saying that yet. What they are saying is that some people, for some reason, are more susceptible than others, and that all children are at risk. There's now so much electromagnetic radiation in our daily lives that we just have to be careful just in case somewhere down the track we discover that EMRs have in fact been killing us. I don't think there are any guarantees. I don't think the industry can give a guarantee and certainly our scientists are not prepared to do that. Senator Lynn Allison spent a year listening to the scientists, trying to find out what the risks are. What she discovered is that there's good reason to worry. We are a bit awash now in radio frequency. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and radio waves generally, and we're not altogether sure what effect that has on us. Senator, were, were you surprised to learn that, that brain tumours have now taken over from leukaemia as the biggest cause of death amongst children? I think that's awful, but it's consistent with studies of, um, in, in Europe and the UK where there's been a 40% increase across the board of brain tumours over the last 20 years. Across the other side of Canberra, Jeff and Denise are still coming to terms with the loss of Kessia. Denise searched hospital and medical records, compiling the report that found brain tumours are now the biggest cancer killer of children. I would not move in next to a telecom <laughs> tower or a mobile phone tower, and um, certainly if they were heavy-duty uh, electrical wires, I'd be very uncomfortable. You could talk yourself into the ground, wondering how or why. There's no sort of real indicators, just a lot of guesses, and those guesses cover such a broad range of areas. The You'd go mad trying to yeah. control your environment yeah. because you just don't know what it is. It's 
scientists say that the the, the thickness of the skull in children makes a difference. It's quite thin compared with adults. That there is more brain fluid. The radio frequencies can travel through the brain more easily. When patients come in with a brain cancer, I often say to them, you know, your cancer's on the right side of your brain, it's in the area just above your ear. Can you tell me if you feel that you've had more exposure than most people to mobile phones? And I am surprised that most people say, yes, uh, you know, I've used my phone continuously for the last seven years and it's always stuck to my ear on this side. Well, that's where the cancer is. This is unfortunately a very cruel disease that affects people in all age groups. I've done a baby, a one day old baby with a malignant brain tumour and uh, it's the greatest cancer killer in children uh, and that's why I think we really need to be aware of it and start uh, putting some more effort into it. The thing I've learned is, is that there's nothing harder that I'll ever face in life than holding my daughter as she dies. I think I'm different in some ways in terms of how I approach problems and they're not anything compared to no. actually looking at your daughter as she breathes her last breath. And for more information on Charlie Teo's uh, research, please go to our website 9msn.com.au slash ACA.